Hello students, in this video lecture, we will discuss about the metamerism in annelids. See, what is metamerism? In some animals, the body is divided into a series of compartments, arranged one behind the other. These compartments are called segments or somats or metamers. This body is the organism. See here, this is the uh, one organism. It is divided into segments. Body is divided into segments or, or series of a compartment, just like a train. Train and compartment are the other body in the compartment. That each segment is called as somites or segments or metamers. Body divide agiratha. E aladralu enertava same part ratha. Reproductive organs ratha. Aladralu ratha. That is called as meta metamers. The linear arrangement of segments one behind the other is called as metamerism. Metamerism in the inta segment vada one in the one correct arrangement in the metamerism. The animals exhibiting metamerisms are called as metamerically segmented organism. Example Anelida, Arthropoda, and Chordata. Anelida Vologu, Metamerism with our Arthropoda Vologu, our Chordata, Vertebrate Vologu, Metamerism, Kandabarthi. Characteristic of Metamerism In Metamerism, each segment is mirror image of the other segment. Mirror image and E one segment hangka aitala ade tara matondu segment that is a mirror image of that segment. Each segment contains nephridia. The, it is a excretory organ, blood vessels, reproductive organs. Reproductive organs means gonads, nerves, muscles, etc. Each segment the segment work in cooperation with all other segments. Yella segment one the segment in segment should cooperation work with all other segments. They are integrated into a single functional unit. Yella seri single functional unit. The segmental organs are interdependent this is about the metamerism see the next one this is about the metamerism in you have a type of metamerism types of metamerism the metamerism in animals is classified into eight types they are as follows first one is true metamerism pseudo metamerism homonomous segmentation heteronomous segmentation external metamerism external and internal metamerism complete metamerism and incomplete metamerism these are the eight types of metamerism true metamerism true metamerism and rena true metamerism is a found in annelids arthropod and chordates in true metamerism the segmentation of the body is based on the segmentation of mesoderm during the development, mesoderm is divided and uh, become a different, different endodermal, uh, sorry, or again a part of the mesoderm. New segments are formed at the posterior end. In, the, uh, in true metabolism, new segments are formed in the posterior end in front of the anal segment if ns is present here then new segment is formed in this region 
that is in the posterior region hence the angest segment uh, angest segment occur at the posterior end and the oldest segment occur at the anterior end illella old irthava ee hosavagi bandadu posterior side bartu the segments work in cooperation with all other segments this is known as true metabolism older mund irthava yenga posterior side this is anterior side head region posterior tail region next pseudo metabolism or strobilization or superficial metabolism it is found in the tapeworm pseudo metabolism is exhibit uh, exhibited by tapeworms that is in the platea helminthes here the segmentation of the body is based on the segmentation of ectoderm in the true metabolism it is based on the endoderm here ectoderm new segments are formed in at the anterior end here new segments are formed at the anterior end just behind the scolex this is the scolex and here are the new segments formed at the anterior end and hence the angest segment occur at the anterior end and the old segment occur at the posterior here these are the old segment and these are the new segments at the anterior end the segment work as in independent units in previous one they are dependent in cooperation with here these are the independent there is a no cooperation between the segments next third one homonomous segmentation if all the segments of an animal are identical the segmentation is called as homonomous segmentation the homonomous uh, segmentation is found in any existing animals if all the segment is identical if it has a pair of legs or parapodia then these also having the parapoda podia this is known as homonomous segmentation at least few are few of the anterior segments are always specialized on the head this specialization is called syphilization the closest approach to homonomous segment segmentation is found in some polychaetes in which all the segments between the head and anal segments are alike andre same irtho homonomous segmentation is a primitive condition next heteronomous if the segments are dissimilar then it is called as heteronomous segmentation see here illi legs idava idakka legs illa so these are the dissimilar segments that's why it is called as heteronomous segmentation external metabolism in arthropod the metabolism is external internal the internally the segments are not marked by partition internal idrangilla bare external aste ittandre that is external metabolism external and internal metabolism means it is found in the earthworm that is uh, in the annelids uh, segmentation is marked externally as well as internally internally the segments are separated by the transverse partition called septa septa irutithe olagade separate madirutithe segmentation externally andre horagade aste separate agirutha internally andre olagade nu separate agirutha complete metabolism when a segmentation is seen in all the organs the metabolism is, is called as complete metabolism example annelida all all the organs ella organ olage ittandre that is complete metabolism incomplete metabolism means when the segmentation is not seen in all organ if it is present in uh, only anterior region then it is a incomplete metabolism example arthropoda and cordate 
this is about the metamerism in analyte